Welcome to my castle. I heartily receive you, my son. All right. Enough with the jokes. A joke? You don't remember me, Travis. I am your true father. Blood does not make such mistakes. Jeez, you are full of it, aren't you? It's a good story. I'll give you that much. You see, this is just another story. Even if you were my father, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here is who's best. Remember, son. Engraved into your memory is the night when everything changed. I fell to my feet right before my son's eyes. Do you not remember this? In my deepest memories, I hear someone calling. I remember. It was a hot summer day. There was someone standing behind my father and mother. That person killed my parents. The face, I can't make it out. Who are you? Remember. Who are you? Try harder. I think I can see it. Almost. Do you recognize the face? Now I remember everything. Well done, son. She was the girl you loved. You're still as gullible as ever, Travis. Think, why would he be your father? I guess you're right. I don't have a father, at least not anymore. You killed him, didn't you? Yes. And that's why you became an assassin. To kill me. Now I get it. All those fights. It was for this. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. I can help you to get even. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. So you and I finally meet. You should thank Sylvia. Jean, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Me? You don't need to know. All of your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me! It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? All right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are my half-brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother to run off with your mother. It broke her heart beyond repair. She killed herself. Knowing I had nowhere to go, he took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, he molested me. We lived in this rotten apartment. And I was his slave. Every day I cursed his soul. I swore that I would kill him one day. But cursing didn't change anything. That's when I decided to become a killer. With no money to pay for training, I paid with my body. But to you, <laughs> I bet that son of a bitch looked like a hard-working family man. That was all an act. He didn't give two shits about cleaning up my life. So I decided to clean it up myself. That's why I do what I do. And I got what I wanted. Killing him in front of your very eyes. That's my story. Imagine that. You and I. Brother and sister. Now you see what I've been through? Maybe it had to be done. But vengeance begets vengeance. You're right. Go ahead. Draw, brother. All of your sorrows end today, Jean. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Right. Brother, please don't kill me. Sorry, Jean. This hurts me too. We're both in the same business after all. And I've had enough. Time for you to rest, Jean. Good night, Travis. I hope your next dream is a more pleasant one. It's over. This is where it all ends. Right, Sylvia? <laughs>